Did Jack say we were going out tonight? What? Sounds like fun to me. Just a little strange. But I guess there's a first time for everything. It'll be nice to hang out with you, Ray. Good luck in your match tonight. What's good, Internet? My name is Attack Slug. Welcome back to SmackDown vs. Raw 2011. The road to WrestleMania got me a triple threat match between Mysterio, JTG, and Mike Knox. And the winner of this match gets a spot in the Royal Rumble. And that money, money, yeah, yeah. Anyhow, welcome to a fine Sunday here on the program. It's Sunday, so time to be lazy, I suppose. End of the weekend, I suppose. Video games and such. Let's go. Now, in terms of wrestling news, we have another match announcement for Money in the Bank confirmed, which is, once again, Daniel Bryan and Big Cass. Now, does anybody want to see Daniel Bryan and Big Cass again? I would imagine not. I would prefer anybody else who is not already in a match on that SmackDown roster to be fighting Daniel Bryan. I don't know, Primo, Epico, anybody besides Big Cass would give a better match than Big Cass. But it kind of is what it is, and that's what they booked for Money in the Bank. And I understand, obviously, you already have Bryan in a feud, and you want to have him on the card, because obviously you've cleared him to work, and you want him to work to help sell tickets. I get that. So, I understand why you go with Big Cass, but I don't like it. I don't I don't want That's not a match I, I want to see. So, here's hoping Daniel Bryan just squashes Cass in like a minute and a half, and then we're just off to the races, because uh, why else bother? So, but that being said, with that match confirmed, oh no! Mysterio getting double teamed here. With that match confirmed. Doing some Hardy Boy stuff there. Um... We have now 11 matches on the Money in the Bank card. Which, I know they said these are, are going to be longer pay-per-views, but that's still a lot of matches. And they haven't said, really guys? Come on now. And they haven't said uh, if any of those are going to end up on Yonder Pre-Show. Or Yonder Kickoff Show. So, uh, that remains to be seen at this point. Mike Knox, what are you doing? You guys fight amongst yourselves. Really? Leave... The master of the six one on alone. Leave him alone. Um, there we go. All right, yes. Now it is one on one. Rey Mysterio, Mike Knox. Good God. Why? Why? Anyway, yes. Yeah, so eleven matches, and uh, I'm hoping that show ends before midnight. Basically, at, th at this point, Moon's out. And then JTG also going to the top rope for reasons. Nope, not having it. Not having it. So yeah, I'm. Look. I'm sure there were some plenty of complaints, and myself included, that there were not enough titles being defended uh, at the previous pay-per-view, which was Backlash, right? So you didn't have either tag title get defended, right? But at the same time, do you really need to have Roman and Jinder? Like, seriously? If anything, Roman and Jinder should be on the pre-show, should be on the kickoff, because who cares? Nobody... That's going to be a stinker and a half. So, I don't know. That's just my opinion. Hey, maybe they'll surprise me. Maybe they'll go above and beyond what I would expect from both those guys. Seriously. Um, but honestly, uh, I think there is always a danger with Roman Reigns of it being in the main event. When it definitely should not be in the main event of anything. Especially one that has two Money in the Bank matches. For real though. Also, why is it so hard? Why is it so hard? Double team. Maneuvers. Over and over and over. I just want to do a signature. I just want to do a signature. And I haven't been able to get it to happen yet. Because I keep getting the icon and then the icon. And then it goes away. So, there. I got it again. Pick up Mike Knox. There. Finally, I can do something with these fools. And it got reversed. And I had my timing finally, and it got reversed. Because of course it did. Because why wouldn't it? Why wouldn't it? Anyway. Also announced, uh, I guess this morning or last night or whatever. No, triangle. Here he goes. 
Mike Knox is not going to let this happen. So there's no point in pinning KCG here because Mike Knox. He's trying. He's trying to grapple me. It's not happening. I can't believe it. Yep. Not even a one count because of that nonsense. Not even. Not even. Mike Knox get. Or all right, sure. No, Mike Knox or trying to grapple Mike Knox was not happening. Come on, Ray Ray. Another outstanding wrestling maneuver, says Michael Cole. Okay, so basically this is this is the thing here is to do this and then pinfall. Really, Mike Knox? Back on that fast? Wait, come on! He just stood there for two seconds. You couldn't stand there for three. You couldn't stand there for three, like Mike Knox? Really? I don't want to lose this finisher, you guys. Again to JTG. It is what it is. It is what it is. I'm not going to go for the pinfall here because uh, it's not going to matter because Mike Knox. Now if I could just get Mike Knox out of the ring. Or or there. Yeah, sure, fine. Go, go, go. One. Two. And there we go. Mysterio going to the Royal Rumble. Bay. B. He did it with this huge win. Rey Mysterio now joins the other 29 superstars competing in Sunday's Royal Rumble. The last chance saloon opened its doors, and Mysterio grabbed the opportunity with both hands. Rey Mysterio is in the Rumble, where he's done the impossible before. Will history repeat itself Sunday? Maybe. So then, I kicked him in the stomach and connected with a gut wrench powerbomb. From there, it was academic. Get it? Academic? I'm an All-American. <laughs> well, listening to you talk about your matches for the last four hours has been, uh, fun. But it's getting late. Yeah, we should probably get going. Hey, I've been refreshing Ray's memory, remember? My good buddy here has amnesia. Besides, you should be thrilled to be out with us. Right, Ray? Yeah, ladies. This is a good time. Don't ruin it by copying an attitude. Us? Attitude? Ray, you're the one who's changed. And not for the better. Ever since your new best friend... You said you should go. Then go. We'll close down this place like we always do. Isn't that right, Mr. Mysterio? That's right, Mr. Swagger. Because I'm going to the Royal Rumble. What a weird thing. That reminds me, bro. What a weird... I bet you forgot about the time I made John Cena <laughs> tap out at the Royal Rumble. That didn't happen. That didn't happen. The last person who tapped out John Cena was Kurt Angle, I'm pretty sure. And here we go. The Los Conquistadors. Yep. And Rey Mysterio. In a six-man tag team match. Tony Chimmel. What are you doing? You're ruining it, Tony Chimmel. They're Los Conquistadors. Not Edge and Christian. Come on now. When Mr. America came to the ring, you didn't announce him as Hulk Hogan, did you? Come on. Don't ruin the gimmick. And this match is against... Oh, right. Legacy. Alright. Sure. Six-man tag team match. Holla. 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 Anyway, the other uh, announcement that we had this morning was that we're going to have a contract signing... On SmackDown this week between AJ Styles and Shinsuke Nakamura for the last man standing match. I still think it should have been called Balls Count Anywhere, but that's just me. Uh, and, wow. Uh, so that's the problem now, I guess, when you're going to have these dual-branded pay-per-views, one per month, that we just had a contract signing on Raw. So, out of ideas for how to book these feuds when you're re repeating the same segment uh, with different guys... On Raw and SmackDown. So that's an unfortunate side effect of having your dual branded pay per views. That you, you know, just are going to end up reusing stuff because that's just, there's, I guess there's only so many ideas in the book or something. I don't, I don't know. I don't know. I really don't. But let us see if we can take care of Randy Orton here uh, very, very quickly. And, oh, reversed. Reversed. He's like, no 619, Rey Mysterio. Not happening. DDT. One good DDT deserves, and he's going to tag out. You know, I could have won there. If he didn't reverse that, I could have won there. Oh. Isn't that, isn't that special? 
No, come on, you guys. That's some garbage. Wow. The game's like, no, you're not doing your 619. We're going to keep on tagging out, tagging out, tagging out, tagging out. Lame. Incredibly lame. But hey, that is smart tag team wrestling to a degree. Like, I can't argue too much with their, their tag team tactics, uh, if you will. But here we go. Ray Mysterio doing it with Cody. Speaking of Cody, he was trolling the crowd uh, at the Ring of Honor show, uh, I want to say last night, uh, in in New York, saying, hey, we're going to have All In 2 in New York. Just kidding. That's pretty good. That's like they, The crowd immediately was like, thank you. They were like, F you. Just amazing, amazing stuff. So Cody doing work. Doing that work. All right. So now Cody here can feel the wrath of the 619. Uh, and there goes the Conquistadors to beat up Randy Orton just clapping. He's just clapping. I held circle. I held circle. One. Nope. That's the way the cookie crumbles. But here we go. We'll do it again. We'll do it again and see if it works at that time. I don't know. Pinfall. Will it be? Nope. But now they're distracted from doing that, hopefully. Hopefully. And then I'll do it again. What are you guys even doing? I don't even know. Holding circle. Wait, what? One. What are you doing, either Edge or Christian, on the outside of the ring instead of being on the inside where you should be to help me out with this six-man tag? Like, what in the blue hell are you doing? I don't understand. I am baffled. You are conquistadors. Do some conquisting. 619... I can't see anything. Tenfall, yes. One. Nope. You guys are the worst. The absolute worst. Let's do it again, you guys. And see if you can manage to actually do the right thing. But you won't. I believe it. Believe it. One. Two. Nope, Randy Orton. Cody is so ready to get pinned, and I just can't manage to get these guys to actually help me out here in any real capacity. Woo! Finally, yes. Yes. Both off the apron. We're good here. One, two, three. Yeah. Here are your winners. Ray. The rated R superstar. Edge you couldn't record them saying. You, you couldn't record Tony Chimel saying, "Los Conquistadors." Really? A voicemail from Evan Bourne. What's up, Ray? What could he want? You've been a tough guy to get a hold of, but I want to talk to you. We should get together after the Royal Rumble. That is, if we don't meet in the match. <laughs> See ya. <laughs> anyway, tomorrow the Royal Rumble itself. I'm a tax. Thanks for watching. More videos every day, even if YouTube fails at sending out the freaking notifications. You know I'm here. 5 p.m. I'll see you next time. Right here on this channel. And I'm out.